In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to create a plastic toy car body. And then in a later demonstration, we'll create the core and cavity mold for the toy car. And then we'll do a wind tunnel demonstration of the car body. So we'll start out with some sketches to define our geometry. And at first it might look like this is uh, really complicated, but we'll break it down into small steps where it isn't really all that difficult. So I'm going to drag my roll-up bar up and I'll look under sketch number one. And sketch number one is a simple rectangle and I've named that as clay block. Let's uh, think of that as though we were going to cut this part or carve it out of a block of clay. So I'll go to my extrusion tools and I'll select that rectangle and let's go up a distance of let's say uh, 80 millimeters and I'll turn off the visibility of that sketch now and I'll drag my roll-up bar uh, down underneath the front sketch and the front sweep path so the front sweep path is simply an arc with a couple of lines at an angle to define the angle of the arc and then this sweep profile is another arc with a couple of lines defining the angle of or the arc so I'll go to the surfaces tools this time and I'm going to do swept surface and I'll select this arc first and then I'll select this arc and so it'll sweep that as a surface and then I'm going to use this surface to cut away the front of the block but first let's turn off the visibility of those two sketches and then I will select cut with surface and I'll select this surface and then I'll flip the direction I want to cut going away from the surface I'll select OK to that, and that cuts away that shape onto the our block of material. Now there might be some other ways that we could do this, but um, we want to just demonstrate some of the tools. Now, I'm going to now hide that surface. Now what I've done is I've expanded these columns so that I can just toggle the visibility on and off of the various parts in my history tree. I'll then drag the roll-up bar underneath the back sweep path, and I'll repeat the same step. So I'll do a swept surface. I'll select this is my profile, this is my path. I'll select OK to that, and I'll turn off the visibility of of those uh, sketches and then I'll do cut with surface like this surface I want to cut going out say so okay to that I'll then hide that surface body right then I'll drag the roll-up bar down underneath left side sweep path and so I have an arc here an arc tangent to this arc and a second arc some lines defining the angles of those arcs and then I have an arc coming up here and again some construction lines defining the angle of this arc let's go ahead and do another swept surface and I'm going to sweep this sketch along that arc and and I'll hide the sketch visibility and this time I'm going to mirror this surface body to the other side and so I'll go back to my features tools and I'll do mirror and for the plane I'm going to select the front plane and then I'll do bodies to mirror and I'll select the surface body and I'll say okay to that and so I've mirrored that surface body to the other side now we could use the same process here that we used on the front and back but I want to show some different uh, tools I'm going to do insert features and I will do split I'm asking to select the trim tools I can select multiple tools I'll select this one and this one and then I'm going to tell it to cut the body and then I need to tell it which piece to keep do I want to keep that or do I want to keep this or do I want to keep this and then I'm going to discard or consume uh, the bodies that I cut away now if we select it in the wrong order that's no big deal but notice how we could keep any of the bodies so that could be important for other operations and let's edit that feature and we'll uh, uncheck this and check these two and so you can always just undo an operation or change the edit the operation if you uh, need to uh, make a change. Okay. I'll turn off the two surface bodies. All right, then I'm going to I'll drag the roll-up bar underneath the tail sketch. And so I have a series of splines created here. And so I created a, a point, another point, a third point, and then a line that I mirrored these points about to the other side and then drew a spline across those points. So then we'll do on the surfaces tab, we'll do a, a lofted surface. And it's important now when you select these splines that you select them in approximately the, the same location. But don't select that point on the end because you can loft to a point. We don't want to loft to a point. We want to loft to these splines. Now don't switch back and forth. Stay approximately the same location so that you don't twist your lofted surface. Now notice that the 80 millimeters doesn't go up quite high enough to meet this surface. So that surface is a little bit above the 80 millimeters. But here the rest of it, it goes through the part. So if I use trim with surface or cut with surface or if I 
I use the split tool like I did previously, we're going to miss a little portion right there. So we're going to do this a slightly different way. I'm going to select a replace face and the first thing I need to do is select the target face for replacement. I want to replace this face and then I need to select the tool to use to replace that with. I'll select this face and I'll say OK to that. And so it, it lifted it up or brought it up to meet this surface back here and then cut the rest of it away. So you can both extend and trim with that replace face. We'll hide the visibility of the surface. I'll hide the visibility of the sketches. And then I'm going to do a fillet on this corner here and here. So I'll select that edge. I'll do a fillet. I'll put in a, a radius of 80 and I'll also fillet this edge. I'll select that fillet. I'll do another fillet. Select this edge. I'll do a fillet. This one I want to be radius 20 and I also want to get this edge back here in this corner, this edge, and this edge going across the back. Right, once I have those edges, I'll accept the fillet. I'll drag my roll-up bar down underneath canopy sweep sketch and I'm going to do this one now as a solid body. So I'll do a swept body, so swept boss base. I'll select this is my profile. I'll select this is my path and I'll select OK to accept that. I'll turn off the visibility of the sketches. Now I may want to put a different color onto this so I could do that by feature or I could do it by face. I'm going to right click on that feature and I'll select the swept feature and I'm going to put a different color on that swept feature. I'll then select this edge and I'll do a new fillet and let's change this to say 8 and I might want to change the color of that fillet so I'll right click I'll go to that fillet appearance and I'm going to select a black color for that fillet. All right, I'm then going to shell out the bottom of my part. Now I may want to do this different ways uh, depending on how I want this to be analyzed with the airflow analysis but I'm going to go ahead and do shell and I'll select this bottom face and I'll do a shell thickness of two millimeters and then I prefer the, the inside face to be a, a dollar color so this is our finished color on the outside and I'm going to go to that shell feature and I'll change the color of the shell feature and I'm going to pick a, a doll color for that feature. I'll then drag my roll up bar down to both the wheel well sketch. I'll do extrude cut and I'll select both of these circles and I'm going to go through all in both directions. I'll then hide that sketch. I will drag my roll up bar down underneath mounting post sketch. I'm going to go directly to the bottom view and so here's a circle I have for placement for a mounting box and here's another circle for a mounting boss there. I will go to insert fastening feature and I'll select mounting boss and then for position I'll select someplace close to this circle and I intentionally didn't select right on the circle because I'm going to end up moving it to that circle and then I need to set the direction of this so that it is perpendicular to the top plane otherwise it may be at an angle and uh, so I will uh, select for direction I'll select the top plane and watch the, the feature when I select that top plane and and it disappeared so I need to flip that direction so I'll flip the direction and now it's perpendicular to the top plane and then for the location I'll select this circle right here so now it's directly lined up with that circle under that plane. I can make changes over here to the height of this and I can tell it whether I want the head side or the threaded side. I want to do the threaded side for this and then if I go distance A if I want that to be a certain height I could select the height or I could tell it to go uh, to a mating face and I'll select the top plane as that mating face. I can select the edge of the car uh, as the face that I want this to go up to and then if I want to change the height of these ribs and let's say that I want to make that rib 30 I'll hit the tab key to preview that and uh, if it uh, if it's too high it won't preview it. Let's do 20. Okay so I see that that 20 previews okay and if I want to change the, some other features on that like the angle, this distance E, distance B, so forth, I can change those. If I want to change the number of ribs, I can set the number of ribs, the number of ribs or fins that I want supporting that boss and I'll go ahead and select this one and accept it and then let's do this again on this one back here. So again, I'll look directly at this from the bottom view. I will insert fastening features, a mounting boss, select on that face. I want it perpendicular to the top plane and I'll need to flip that direction. And then I want to center it with this circle. I want to have it go up to this face and I want to increase the height of these fins. So distance C, I'll do that as 20. Hit the tab key to preview it. And maybe I should come up higher on fins back here. So let's do 50. 
and again if we see that color change it's not going to allow us to come up 50. Uh, we may need to change the, the draft angle on the fins. I've changed distance A from the center of the boss out to the edge of the fin to 20. That might be too far. Let's do 15 and if I do I end up cutting off. I've also changed this angle E and this distance or the, the distance E. Let's change that to five millimeters and it still might be pretty high but I'll go ahead and accept uh, these parameters. All right, I want to hide that sketch and then I'm going to change these mounting bosses to the gray color and so I'll copy copy this property and I'll paste that and I'll paste it again. Okay, I want to mirror those two features to the other side so I'll do mirror. I'll select the front plane and then for the features to mirror I will select the two mounting bosses mirror those to the other side and I may need to copy that appearance to the, the mirror as well. So I'll copy appearance and I'll go to the mirror and paste that appearance. So there is our toy car body. Now I see that I didn't change this to the threaded side and so I have the head side where the fasteners would go through here and I would want them to go through the bottom. So I'll go to the second mounting boss and I'll edit that feature and I need to change that to the threaded side. I'll select OK and everything updates as we would expect it to.